Welcome back launchers. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create your first ever print on demand product. To do that, log into your launch cart store dashboard and then click on create new. And we're gonna choose the middle option. We're gonna create a print on demand product. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with print on demand, it's very simple. It just means another company basically handles all the work. They create the products, they ship the products and deliver them directly to your customers. You don't lift a finger. The only re the only uh, requirement from you is you need to sell the products and you, you need to pay for the product cost, but you do that after you make a sale. So it's all really, really easy. Now LaunchCart has um, a very cool feature and it is our print on demand product catalog. That's what you're looking at right here. We are one of the only e-commerce companies that actually includes an entire print on demand catalog built in natively into our platform. So once you're on the screen, you have the option to browse a ton of different categories. Now, with our partnership with Printful, we have about two to 300 available products right now. That number might be higher uh, depending on when you're watching this video, but you have hundreds of products to choose from, from men's clothing to women's clothing to kids and youth clothing and so on and so on. I mean, there's just hundreds of products that you can begin selling right away from your store. Now with print on demand, you'll need to customize these products. What does that mean? Well, simply, if you look at all of these images right here, these are all blank products, meaning that's a blank shirt, that's a blank legging, that's a blank uh, bodysuit, and so on. So what we need to do is we'll need to upload an image, a graphic, some artwork, and we'll need to use that to customize these products so they're actually customized and unique before we can list them and sell them on our website. And I'll teach you how to do that in just a minute. But that is what print on demand is all about. It's about taking away the responsibility from you. You don't need to hold any inventory. You don't need any, you don't need to buy any products up front. You can literally begin selling t-shirts, for example, within minutes using our print on demand catalog. So for this example, let's go ahead and create a t-shirt and I'm gonna walk you through that. I'm just gonna select a t-shirt. It doesn't matter which product you select, it's totally up to you. You'll see that depending on the product, there's different color options and there's different pricing options. Now you will be responsible for paying for these products only after you sell them though. So for example, this product starts at a base cost of $13.95. You might sell that product in your store for $20, which gives you a profit of, of around six to $7. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna choose this product. And if this is your first time here, we're gonna to talk to you about how you can connect your launch cart store to your Printful account. Printful is the service that will be responsible for actually creating these products, helping you design them, and ultimately fulfilling them and, sh and shipping them to your customers. So if this is your first time, watch this short informational video. It'll make a lot more sense. I'm gonna go ahead and press continue. And now this is where it's gonna ask us to connect our Printful account. So you have two options here. If you've never used Printful before, you can create a brand new Printful account and that's what we recommend. It's totally free, there's nothing to sign up for. Just go ahead and fill out your name, your email and your password and it will connect and we'll be good to go. Or if you already have a Printful account, just simply log into your existing account right here and continue on. I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna go ahead and sign into my account and I'll come back. Okay, I'm back, I just signed in. Now it's asking me if I need to authorize. I'm gonna hit authorize and I'm gonna continue on through the process. Okay, just like that, we're authorized, we've connected. There was nothing to install, no complicated setup. We just simply logged in or signed up. And now we are in the mock-up builder or the design editor. This is where you actually get to build and customize your products. So here's the t-shirt that we chose on the previous screen. We can select which colors we wanna sell. If you wanna sell multiple colors, you can select all the colors you wanna sell from here. Then you can go to the design tab and you can upload a file. Now, before you do that, I forgot to mention, back on the product tab, let's see what other options we have. So you have all of the colors. Now you can select all of them if you want. We recommend selecting about three to five colors per product. When you, when you create too many products, it's a little bit overkill. So about three to five different colors uh, per product. And then you can select your sizes. We recommend keeping all the sizes turned on and then just continuing on, okay? So let's go to the, the design tab now and we'll need to upload a file. Now, if you don't have any files to upload, that's okay because we provide a, a design marketplace where we have thousands of images that you can get and you can use for this process right here. 
I mean, and these images range from just any any topic you can think of. We have tens of thousands of images available, and we have a whole video on that. Check out that video. I think it's titled something about how to create your own product with our design marketplace. But for this example, Printful actually gives us some sample files to use. So I'm just going to click on one of these. Never chosen this before, but I'm just going to click on it just to show you how easy it is to create your first product. So once you upload a file or an image, you have that image here, and now you have the fun part of designing your product the way you want it. That means you can make this image smaller or larger. You can put it in any place on the t-shirt of where you would like it. You could even rotate it. You can do whatever you want. This is where you get to have the chance to have fun, build the product that you want to build. I'm going to go ahead and press the reset button and that will reset everything back to uh, normal. Now I can also zoom in and this allows me to kind of get a better picture of what I'm doing and where it's getting placed. Once again, totally up to you of where you want to place this. A lot of people, if they're building um, products for their logos, they'll put their logo in the top right hand corner of the t-shirt. And not only can you do that, but on certain products like this one, you can customize different areas of the product. So for example, I can also create uh, some artwork for the back. So same process. Go ahead and upload a file. I'm going to go to sample files and I'm just going to pick a different file this time. And now I can take this file and I can put it anywhere I want, but it's on the back side. So now I have two images right now. I have a front and a back. That's pretty cool. And if I wanted to, I could continue on. I could do the left sleeve, the right sleeve, and even I can even create an inside label to really brand this uh, for my company. So that's how easy it is. Now you have other options. You can add text. You can add clip art over here. You got a whole bunch of other options. It's up to you. Have some fun, play around with it, and really get used to building products because you have unlimited abilities here. You can build apparel products, home and goods products. You can build posters and t-shirts and hats and mugs and, I mean, just sneakers and all kinds of stuff. You can do it with this. So now let's go ahead and proceed. Once you get it looking the way you want it, we're going to proceed. And now it's time to just all we're doing is simply following the instructions. So now it's going to ask us which mock-up styles do we like. These are the mock-up styles that will get shown to our store visitors. So you choose the basically product image or the product preview image that you want to show on your store. We have men's, we have women's, we have flat lifestyle mock-ups, wrinkled mock-ups, and they look really, really authentic, which is really nice. So choose the option that you want. Continue on. Now, I like to choose the PNG because it comes with a transparent background. And typically, like for example, this one, I guess this one, it wouldn't matter because it already has a background, but this one I would choose, let me go back down here. I would choose the PNG because that will give me a transparent background and it looks better with most themes. So that's a little side note just to remember. So now let's go ahead and proceed to the title. So this will take us to the title. This is your actual product title. So when you have a store visitor and they're browsing your store, they're gonna see your products and they're gonna see your product titles. You can customize this to whatever title that you want. You can remove the word t-shirt, you can you know, put any wording you want there and your store visitors will see this. And then simply hit proceed to pricing. Now you have the fun option to choose how much you wanna sell this particular product for. So let me explain how this screen works. It's very simple. The first column is your cost. That means when you sell one of these products, this is the amount that you'll need to take out to pay for the product. And that includes the shipping, the product fulfillment, delivering it to your customers, all of that. So as you can see, it, it varies based on what size of the product. So if the customer orders a three extra large t-shirt, your cost is gonna be a little bit higher compared to if they order an extra small. And also your cost, um, also can range based on how many images you've uploaded in the different areas. So for example, our cost of this product is a little bit higher because we did not only a front, but we also did a back. We did a front and the back of that t-shirt, which uh, incurs more costs there. The next column is your actual price that's shown on your store or your retail price. So this is the price that your users or your customers would pay for when they go to your store and buy this product. Then the third column is your profit margin. So this is telling you based on which selection your customer buys, this is how much money you would make in this column. And they have a cool way of um, basically you can say, you know what, I want to increase my profit by $5 and it increases it all the way down. Maybe you want to increase it by $10 or maybe you want to decrease it. You can do that too. 
gives you a really simple way to uh, mass edit these prices. And then you hit submit to store. And that's it. I mean, literally within uh, a few minutes, we just created our very first t-shirt on a brand new store. So now what's happening is the technology is doing all its fancy work. It's creating the product, it's creating the images, the variants, blah, blah, blah. It's doing all of this really cool stuff. And then it's gonna take that product and put it directly into your launch cart store and make it available to purchase right away. Now you're thinking, what's next? What do you do after that? Well, if somebody does purchase that product, the only thing you'll need to do is you'll need to make sure that you have um, pricing set up with Printful and they'll send you an email and they'll ask you to do that when you make your first sale and they'll deduct the cost of the product um, from you know whatever um, payment method you have on file with them and then they'll handle the rest of the work and they'll continue to ship out those products to as many customers as you get. And that's the really cool and unique thing about print on demand is you can sell only one t-shirt or you can sell 10,000 t-shirts. There is no limit and it will all be handled automatically. So now that we're back here on this screen, this is your product uh, editor screen. And if you want, you can continue to customize this product um, even further. So once again, here's that product name that you put in here. If you wanted to, you could change it. You could also change this product status to active or draft or inactive. If it's active, it means it's available for sale. You can change the URL of where this product shows up on your store. You can edit the description even further. We can scroll down here. Here's your available product images. So we can see which ones uh, is showing both a front and a back version of this product. If you wanted to make this one show up first, just take this image and drag it to the left. And now it becomes your new featured image. And you could also add additional images as well if you had them. If we continue to scroll down, everything is automatically filled out. We have, here's your price. Uh, here's your cost. This is the base cost of this product. Now, once again, your base cost will vary depending on the variant, depending on how many images uh, you have and so on and so on. And they will reflect the last pricing screen that I just showed you. Uh, make sure to leave this checked. This will automatically calculate shipping. So Printful will calculate shipping based on where your customers are ordering the product from. And they will automatically include that. Um, so your customers will ultimately pay the shipping cost. So you won't have to pay that. Okay, and then we come down here, and then here's all the variant images. So once again, all of this was created automatically. You didn't have to manually input this. Here's all of our different uh, versions. Now, I only chose one color. If I were to chose multiple colors when I was in the mock-up builder, maybe I chose white and black and red and yellow and so on, those would all show up here. And we have uh, additional options to customize the price as well. So this allows you basically to go and kind of re-edit what you just did if you needed to. And then if we go to the very bottom, we can assign this product to a category. Since this is a brand new store, we haven't created categories yet. But if we did create categories, we could assign this product to maybe a t-shirts category or an apparel category, or maybe a men's apparel t-shirt category. We can even add a optional product type. And for this, I would just say, uh, maybe the product type is t-shirts or maybe it's apparel, totally up to you and you can add some additional tags. This information down here is all optional. I do recommend setting a category, and you don't have to do this now, you can do it later, so let me explain. So if we save this product, what we're doing is we're just saving any changes that might have been made. Um, when you first land on that product editor that we just, uh, just saw, you don't necessarily need to press the save button unless you make additional changes. So now we're back on our products tab. You can see that uh, products tab is right here. And this is showing us all of the available products in our store. Since this is a brand new site, we just have one single product and it's a t-shirt. Um, and you know what, for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and add a category because I do wanna show you how to create your first categories. So let's go ahead and add the term men's. I'm gonna leave the, the description blank for now. Oh, I guess we can't do that. So let's go ahead and uh, just say men's products. And I'm gonna add another category and I'm gonna call this one t-shirts. Okay, and I'm going to say men's is the parent category, and I'm going to just say t-shirts. There we go. So now we have a couple categories. So what I'm going to do, and let me expand this so you can see, we have a men's top parent category, and then a subcategory of t-shirts. I'm going to go back to my products page, and I'm going to go edit on this product. And I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to go ahead and assign this product all the way down here to my t-shirt category. There you go and I'm gonna hit save. 
So that's how you make edits. That's how you reassign it. But that's it. That's how fast it is. Now, uh, we're about 15 minutes for this video or so. I'm going to run through how to create a new product really fast. I'm not going to be as slow as I was, and I'm not, not, not going to explain so many things. But I'm going to go ahead and choose a different product this time. And this time, let's see if we can do a bag. Let's see what their backpack options are. Here's a backpack right here. And we got an all over print. That's really cool. So certain products allow you to do what's called all over. That means the entire area can be filled in with the image. So for this example, same thing. I'm going to go ahead and upload a new file. And I'm going to choose a sample file. And I'm going to choose this pattern right here. And check this out. It's going all over the entire uh, backpack. Now, if I want to see a preview of this, I just click on mock-up view right here. And this will show me a preview. And what it does, it kind of generates a whole preview. So here is my current mock-up. I can see the front, the back, the sides, and so on and so on. If I want to keep customizing, I just go back to file view. And maybe I want to customize the top panel. There's different areas that you can customize with this. So, and I'm just doing this really, really fast. This will only take me a minute here. Let me choose a new pattern. And let's do a bottom panel as well. Let's just, let's just customize the whole dang thing while we're here, just so you can see the full power of launch cart and Printful together. And I'm gonna choose a new pattern. And uh, that's about it. So uh, let's see what it's asking me. It's asking me for print area background color. We'll just leave that alone. We'll hit proceed. Um, you haven't uploaded inside pocket. Um, okay, let's say I'll fix it. So it wants us to do an inside pocket. That's cool. So we'll go ahead and upload one more thing. And you really can't mess it up because if you mess it up, it's going to tell you. And that's the nice thing about this is that we make it really foolproof, really easy to do. Anybody can do this. And let's go ahead and go to the rest. So once again, we're going to pick whatever one we want. We're going to hit proceed. And I'm just going to run through this really fast. I'm going to leave the pricing as is. I'm not going to change anything. It's going to do its magic and it's gonna put us right back into launch cart where we can edit this product further. Now, what I wanna show you is I wanna show you what this product looks like on a brand new store. So I'm gonna wait for this to render, it only takes a few seconds. And once again, it's doing all the magic of creating all of our different images, it's putting those images that we just uploaded, it's making us these really cool uh, product images that look so realistic. Even though the product hasn't been made yet, it's creating these images as if the product was made. And that's the really unique thing about LaunchCart and our integration with Printful. Okay, so it dumped us off here. Now this time, I'm not going to save or edit anything because it's technically already saved. What I am gonna do is I am gonna go to products and I wanna click on this icon right here that says view product. See how I did that? You just mouse over one of these. This is gonna take me to a live preview of our brand new product that we just created. So check it out. We landed on this. We kind of have a, uh, a blank store set up. We haven't done too much, but what we do have right now is we have a product that is available and ready to sell. I mean, literally somebody could go to this store and buy this product right now. And this product would be designed, printed, manufactured, and shipped directly to that customer without me lifting a finger. It's that easy and that fast. So as you can see, there's a few images on this page. And as a store visitor, they would come here and they'd be able to see these images and they can zoom in and check it out. You can actually see the customizations we did to this backpack. So here you have that first pattern on the back of it. And then down here on the bottom right, you have kind of this green and blue pattern. And then on the top, we had this pink pattern. Those are all the different images that we uploaded to customize this backpack. And as a store visitor, they could come in here and they could order multiple quantities of this product and simply add this to their cart, check out right now and pay you for this. And then the rest is handled automatically by our good friends at Printful. So that's how fast it is. I wanna say, uh, I thank you for watching. I hope you start creating print on demand products immediately. They're so easy uh, to do, so little work involved and you will be up and running and ready to sell instantly. So thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next video.